Hey, Fight Fan.net here with Keith Schmelzer and Jeff Cisneros of Rocky Mountain Bad Boys Promotion and the Beatdown, respectively. Uh, tomorrow night, Red and Jerry's, you guys have a co promotion going on. Yep, yep, we, we, we've been planning this for a while, and it's a Bad Boys against Beatdown. What do you think, fans? And uh, we were all wondering why you guys decided to co promote. Well, the biggest reason I wanted to do it is because I got a bunch of real good champions and they have to challenge somebody and who the best to challenge is beat down he has some badass boys awesome well the number one reason for me wanting to basically work with keith is i have a lot of respect for him he's been around the longest and he's a constant professional and uh he's got the toughest fighters out there so we thought hey you know what let's do a, an event when champions collide we've had it in the works now for about six months and uh, we're putting it together it looks like gonna be a hell of a fight tomorrow night oh yes and then we also have december 9th so you might want to talk about that too, Jeff. Yeah, we're also going to put together on another event, uh, December 9th, because we had so many fighters sign up for this event that uh, we couldn't use everybody. So basically, we're going to take the overflow with some other really awesome fighters, and we're going to put them on the December 9th show. It's going to be called uh, Rise of the Gladiators, Cage of Glory. Mm -hmm. um, Red and Jerry's again? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, are these events going to unify any titles? Oh, that's what we did. If you would have saw the championship belt that weighs 11 pounds, has six different emblems on it, and Marcus Edwards stoked. Yeah, that's what we decided to do, to take the best best of each promotion and create a unified belts, the undisputed RMBB and Beatdown champion. So now with so many promotions in Colorado, we felt like by joining together, we can really strengthen it and really get some legitimate champions out of it. And then, are you guys going to go back to promoting individually again after this, or is this for, for good? You guys are co-promoting from here well, now. You know what? That's a tough question because I love working with Jeff. He's the easiest guy to work with and he's very thorough and he's on it 24-7. So, but Bad Boys does their own shows and Beatdowns does their own shows. There's no conflict or no problems with that. But I tell you what, I like the battle of the, the two best companies right now is how I see it. Yeah, there's a lot of great companies out there, uh, but like I said, I just really love working with Keith, and we're definitely going to work together in the future, but, uh, you know, we're famous for our Army versus Marines Battle of the Badges, and uh, we've got quite a surprise coming up in March for everybody, so. Right. And you guys always uh, donate a portion of the proceeds to charity. Yes. What charity are you donating to this time? Um, on this particular event, we decided not to do it. Uh, we couldn't come together on it, but on December 9th, we are going to be uh, benefiting a precious child orphanage. We'll be doing a canned food drive for Food Bank of Arvada, and and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Keith Schmelz or Jeff Cisneros, anything else? No, we just look forward to hope everybody comes out and enjoys the fights tomorrow. There's 12 action-packed bouts and three championship fights on the card tomorrow night. Two women bouts, but I want to thank Jeff. I want to thank you. But I also want to thank, thank all the coaches, all the fighters, and all the fans. Or Russell wouldn't have a product to sell. Love you. Ditto that. Red and Jerry.